I'm ready. Welcome to Conscious Report. It's Thanksgiving week, so you guys know what that means. It's time to do your American thing. Eat till your belt busts and consume, consume, consume. Yep, that's right. The day after we give thanks for stolen land, it's the biggest shopping day of the year, also known as Black Friday. What is Black Friday? Black <laughs> Friday originated in Philadelphia as a term used to describe the heavy congestion of traffic the day after Thanksgiving. Later on, it is explained as the point when businesses begin to turn a profit or are in the black. So, businesses have traditionally opened up around 6 a.m. on Black Friday, but recently they have made more efforts to grab more of that consumer zombie dollar, and stores have started to open up closer to midnight. With this year, Walmart and other retailers now saying that they're going to open up on 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day, leading it to be called Black Thursday. So, if that wasn't enough to tempt you with insane price deals on the latest gadgets on a Friday, now they won't even leave you alone on Thanksgiving. It's not like you want to spend time with your family anyways, especially when they have such awesome sales going on. But if you do go out there and you decide to go shopping, be careful. Some of you may have seen these videos where people have been pushed, shoved, and even trampled to death in the pursuit of the latest Wii U, Tickle Me Elmo. I don't know. I don't know what it is that people buy these, at these stores. I'm not sure why you would even spend your time there, but it's insanity. So why do you go to such lengths to buy these products? Is it that Christmas spirit that drives some of your parents to fight tooth and nail for a new video game for your child? I think it's this type of materialist, consumerist mindset that's greasing the wheels of this machine that works against free people night and day. That's you and I. And it's not just you and I that's affected by this, the consumer. It's also the employees of Walmart themselves. According to CNN, there is now an organized effort across the country for Black Friday walkout. There's expected to be over a thousand protests around the nation. And this is not the first time that the employees of Walmart have had issues with the Walton dynasty. In 2006, the Supreme Court blocked a sexual discrimination lawsuit that involved over a million women. I personally support these efforts to stand against Walmart. In Houston, where I'm at, there haven't been any Walmarts in the entire city, uh, the inner city for our, our entire existence. And people have fought this happening for quite some time. Walmart's been trying to get into the city. Recently, they succeeded and they opened up and since then, Starbucks, AT&T, and other corporate chain cookie cutter stores have begun to pop up. So, seeking solutions. What can we do to combat Walmart and these other corporations that are taking over our communities? If you truly support the small markets and bookstores and venues and coffee shops, internet cafes, then shop there. Tell your friends to shop there. Use the power of your dollar. In Houston, we've also organized what's called the Houston Community Coalition, bringing together organizers in both art, music, activism, sustainability, and also spiritually minded groups so we can come together and create stronger communities and use that power to organize on issues that matter to us, such as empowering the community and not Walmart. So, this day that originally got its name from police being pissed off at traffic has now become a term of endearment. Black Friday, the perfect excuse for people to get crazy. If you really want to show your loved ones you care about them, talk to them, spend time with them. And if you feel the need to give them something, make it yourself. Or at least shop local. That way you'll lessen your chance of your gift having been made in a sweatshop. So, in closing, enjoy your week, opt out of the TSA, boycott Black Friday and Walmart, and get to work in your community. As always, if you can hear this, you are Don't ask any questions, close the eyelids on your mind. Television is your friend, even when it In a Walmart and I'm loving these budgets American public, this is your puppet Repeat after me, I'm free and I love it